think it's going to be really helpful in particular when you're evaluating full sips because there will be some relational differences in those full sips that we'll now get with the genomic tool. Um, Kurt hit on the screen here earlier the, the optimum chromosomal effect of the highest net merit bowl available. And if we look at his inbreeding coefficient, I wouldn't, wouldn't want to guess what it would be. But at the same time, if indeed that animal evolved and was different from the population uh, by some genetic line of some sort, those animals have value. So maybe there is a need to look at uh, genetic lines and maintaining genetic lines to help us create some if you want to use the term outcross uh, options down the road. So when we're looking at GFI, we're looking at it predominantly when you're looking at full sibs. Uh, and I think people are going to have to reevaluate how they're utilizing the inbreeding coefficient of the animal itself. Maybe different than we have in the past. Mm -hmm. I think it's an area that's pretty much just evolving. We've got a little bit different kind of handle on it now that we can look at the chromosomes and the genomes and, and the sip effect and how it all plays into this. And so as a breeder, uh, I'm interested in following. I really haven't done anything on it as of yet. Uh, but I think that uh, down the road it's going to be something we're going to have to look at because it's really important to keep keep that and not get run into problems and whether it be more recessives. Or, uh, that's the kind of thing that concerns me as we get them closer. So uh, I think it's important that we learn more about it. No doubt about it, these are coming to be uh, very useful tools. Uh, but to, to be honest, uh, right now, uh, when I look at the spreadsheet and look, look at the few uh, hundreds of columns I've got to look at and the numbers we've got to look at, there's other uh, numbers we're looking at on, on more, um, a little more than those uh, EFI and GFI. Uh, although, to comment in general about um, inbreeding, I think the event of uh, genomic is will do a good job. It can do both, uh, increase or decrease. But to me, where it's, it's been interesting, it's been cows and cow families that we weren't necessarily using as, uh, as bull mothers uh, because it was a bull pedigree that wasn't as well known a bull or bull not as attractive as well because you get this bull and pedigree you're not interested. And then some of these animals get tested and test very positively, then all of a sudden they come to a point where you're gonna, you're gonna use them. So I think it's gonna, bring in some new genetics somehow, or new families anyhow, uh, that you'll be able to use. 